Hey YouTube, how's everybody doing? Well, I've been thinking. I know, I know, it's not a good thing. And yes, I know, there's smoke coming out. But, hear me out. I have very limited tooling for this milling machine. I have one collet that is a 13 16 It's a 7 8 opening, call it. And other than that, I've got to use the, uh, you know, the big arbor with the, the big giant cutters. So, here's my dilemma. Building my milling machine, I'm going to have to face a lot of these uh, one by six inch uh, steel plates and now I could use a fly cutter on my mini mill over there but I have a feeling this might take a while so what I was thinking was what if I made a fly cutter that fit in here, seven eighths, and uh, oh, hang on, let me grab one of my fly cutters. Hold on, you know, something like this. Um, different cutter, of course. Whereas, you know, you have it in here at an angle, spin it around, and we could put. You know the place standing up on end and mill them like this uh, I don't know I guess I'm just kind of thinking out loud this is my work van so I use I'm cutting off a piece of stock I'm going to use for my uh, fly cutter I'm going to make for my milling machine. Also, I wanted to show you guys my work gave me one of those bars if I want it. It's uh, about six and a half inch diameter solid steel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it on the big bandsaw, cut it up uh, into smaller movable pieces. I'm guessing those probably weigh 300 pounds each. And I don't want to have to lift that. Getting a little old for that. This is my work lathe. Well, one of the work lathes. See if I can get you a better picture. I'm going to try to turn this part down a little bit on the big lathe. So doesn't take me as much time on the little
Grazie.